morning YouTube hope everyone's well um, right today we're putting in an electric car charging uh, circuit I'm gonna put in a new Rolex unit um, for a customer uh, that's, that's fairly local to us I'll be honest with you me and Matty are doing it but we have picked probably the worst day to do it um, bit of a nightmare it's not, it has been raining as you can probably see but I've checked the weather report and in approximately an hour and a half's time it is a hundred percent chance of rain and that is throughout the rest of the day so I'm gonna get wet uh, I'm not happy but keep your fingers crossed for me and I'll show you a little bit more when we get there right so we're at the property now that we're doing the car charging point it's weather for the ducks once again so what we're gonna do the fuse board is on the other side of that wall there you can see that I've already taken the hole out so we're just gonna mount an adaptable box up there gland our new 10 mil armoured off all the front gardens being redone so we're just gonna bury it across there at the minute come across under the slabs clip along the fence behind the bush it's gonna be a wet job through the front clip along low level we'll come into the garage now that's where they've got their existing garage power but it's only run off a 2.5 mil cable now as you can see they're, they're going to want to use this space um, you know gym and, and stuff like that so they're going to be wanting to pull more power and maybe some heaters so what I suggested is that 10 mil is actually going to be the new feed for this board and then we'll come off with a 6 mil radial from this board from our spare way there and then we'll come down come through and that is where the car charger is going to be mounted we're also going to put um, an external double socket out here as well and when we turned up this morning they want us to put up a little light so we'll stick that up somewhere off of the lighting circuit that's already in this garage so let's get started all right it's burying the armoured like i said before we ain't gone too deep because they are having this all pulled up again soon and redone all of this sort of stuff so we've gone deep enough comes under these two slabs pops out there clip along you can see it's just running along in there and we've already got it through the wall obviously we're gonna have to lose some of that slack measured that out so that will just come up to the right hand side of the board and that'll feed that'll be our new feed for this garage unit right so we've got the uh, supply in now just comes through low level down there comes up new 10 mil supply for this board that's our old supplies here I haven't cut them away it's only a 2.5 but I thought we'll weigh go them up because you know if they wanted to they could just take this off you know mount another board there maybe or underneath and have another additional bit of power so what I'm about to do in a minute is I've put my 32 amp breaker in there um, we're gonna come out of this board and I've got a, a local RCD for the charging point that I'm gonna mount just next to this board somewhere and then we'll come out we'll come through the wall and we will come in to the back of our car charger which this time like I say it's on the grant so grant states all they're gonna give you give you the money and accept the grant it has to be a smart charger so you do need to check that just make sure that it is you are putting in everything you need to put in but the customers gone for the uh, the tethered lead and the gray and blue looks quite smart actually so yeah we managed to bury the cable most of the way around so I was going to clip it but we could dig that I've got to dig that in down there but all of this is is dug in and you can see just a little bit just coming in the wall there but they normally have this unit that sits right here next to the drain pipe but that'll actually have to move over so we're going to mount the charging point here we've had a look at where the lead comes through the lead can get to about where my van is so they can uh, they'll be alright there'll be plenty of length 
what I've done is I've just touched the armour down there. Like I say, all of this garden is being redone in the near future. So I've just whacked a couple of clips in and kept it low. Underneath the slabs, that's all buried back in, up. Terminated into that box. And we haven't actually done a connection there. What we've done is just left the towels really long. Just glanded it into that box, drilled a hole out the back and we've gone straight through into the fuse board the other side. So, all coming together. So another little progress update. That's all mounted, ready to go. That's our RCD unit coming down. Just clipped down in a straight line through the wall. And that's the unit mounted there. So this is ready to terminate in. And then what we'll do, we've got our earth electrode. Um, because obviously if you've done the, the car charging course, you know that the it has to basically be its own TT system on the earth inside. So what you do is you still bring an earth into them from the consumer unit, but you put it into this. You see how there's nothing coming off that? And then the earth, 10 mil earth that will run from the earth electrode, will actually come out and that will go into this side which then brings the earth down the tethered lead and will earth your, be the earth for your, um, when you plug your car in so that is how we shall do it I'll connect it all up now and then I'll show you again everything's connected now Just lift the lids off so obviously there's our new six comes out of this, just loops across into the top of the RCD. At the bottom of the RCD, obviously at this point, we are keeping the earths all joined and linked back into this. It's only from the unit, you know, afterwards that, that you want it to just rely on the TT earth stake, but I'll show you that in a sec. So yeah, we come out of this RCD, down the wall, through, when you come around this side, that's our charger. Now, just done a little hole through the back there. What I will do is I'll put some fire rated sealant, mainly not because of really risk of fire, mainly just to stop any water just coming through the back. Um, so there's our twin and earth comes through up. That's the earth from the board going into this um, terminal with nothing coming out the bottom of it. So that is just, that goes to there and that's it now live earth and then this is our 10 mil it runs down to our earth electrode that i've mounted in there um 1.2 meter earth electrode all the way down and then just clip that up that earth runs across and then just goes into this side um the earth terminal this side which then has the earth earth and all the components in here plus the tethered lead that comes down there so now, <coughs> I mean this wet, horrible, muddy day, man, but I'm gonna have, start having a bit of a clear up. We'll get this, get all the lids and that put back on. We'll turn power back on and we, I've got, I've got me car charger point tester in the van as well, so we'll test that. Do the ZE on this bold, um, ZE, PFC, um, well, it'll be ZS from the circuit in there because it's fed from the, the house fuse board. So, yeah, we'll get all the testing done and then I will go through some of the rigmarole of the paperwork because, like I say, this is the first um, car charging point installation that we have done off of the grant from Olev. We've put, we've put them in before, but the customers have just paid, but this one's actually going through the grant. So the, pipe, uh, the paperwork is... It's, it's quite a bit to be fair we've got to take what we've got to do is take photos of where we're putting the charging unit and we've actually also got to provide to Olev pictures of the driveway to show that it is off-road parking the gate um, the whole installation as I understand it and then obviously proof that it is a a smart charger so they it complies um, with what they want to to um, give the customer a grant. So we'll fire rate some of these holes up as well. Just at the bottom, they go through. So we're coming to the end of this one now. It's all second fixed up. Put a little note on there. See that is just the uh, grubby hands, made everything muddy. 
that's our RCD protection um, for the car charging unit. Is in there. That is the unit in all its glory. Little double socket that we put down for up there as well. Matty's putting in another little outside light. That was a that was a surprise one. Didn't know about that. But we'll do it anyway. It's like that. Turn my earth going down. Earth rod. Now we put this on its own RCD anyway, but the supplier to the garage is actually a dual RCD split load bolt. So from inside the house, all of this is RCD protected anyway for the outside sockets and, and lights and stuff. So yeah, press on. Um, documentation that you have to get filled out the installer and the customer has to fill out um, parts of this. This is so obviously you get your grant back from Olev. Because um, obviously you invoice for the rest of the works. All Olev are going to reimburse is the cost of the unit. So you claim that back from them six weeks after you've done the install. I'm not really sure why they make you wait so long. Um, I don't know, but that's anyway, that's what they said to me. So, um, with this uh piece of paper, when you get registered with Olev, they'll send you through a load of attachments, um, with you know different bits of info and paperwork and stuff like that. So, the customer is to sign and fill out part A of Annex D. So, that is all this stuff. There's two sections to part A. Um, so that sorry, I got muddy hands. I just came and turned paper. I just went today. Um, all of this sort of stuff. Um, you know, it's just details of what car they've bought. Is it eligible for the grant? We've already checked it is. Um, and then to do the final signature. Squashed. I can't even like hold a book on my lap, man. Right, anyway. Um, and then it comes to B and C. Parts B and C are filled out by the installer. Um, again, it's just price of, of the unit and stuff like that. And obviously you have to prove it. And what else you have to do to get the money back from Olev is obviously they have certain property has to meet to get the grant so i've got to take a picture of their drive the front entrance and the gate that's just to prove that it is off-road parking um uh yeah well i think we have to take literally pictures of, of everything um and send it along with this paperwork so in six weeks time we can get reimbursed for the cost of the unit they will only um, grant up to £500 for the unit for domestic, uh, as far as I understand it. So um, they may, uh, 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 we haven't done a grant for a commercial yet. I'm guessing that will probably be a bit higher because the units are going to be more expensive. I don't know. But yeah, so I'll get the customer to fill out their side of the paperwork. Um, and then I'll fill out my bits and pieces and then we'll go back later on. I'll put it all together um, And what I do need to do is just check with them whether I need to send it off now or send it off in six weeks time because that part I'm still not quite sure about but um, Yeah, what I'm gonna do in a minute Matt is just inside um, connecting up our 10 mil armored into the into the dual fuse board uh, in the house like I said before the garage board it is still plastic I didn't make them upgrade it I don't feel the need to really for what it's powering I know it doesn't comply to current regulations I have informed them um, and told them to check with their building insurance just to let them know because it may you know may or may not cause problems if anything was to happen but the whole board is RCD protected from the house side I've put an additional RCD in um for the car charging point 
um, which is, you know, specially for that and also acts as an isolation point. If they were to go on holiday for two weeks, I don't want next door charging their car up on their electrics or whatever, so they can just turn turn that RCD off and that acts as their isolation point. So yeah, on to testing. Right, so just to show you how these tests work, I'm gonna, t I'm gonna um, just using the EV charge check unit now. Obviously, now we're all done. We've got the unit with a tethered lead. So that just comes off. I'm doing it in the, in the dry here because it is still crappy weather. But yeah, basically all you do is we have our lead that comes from the unit, plugs into their unit, and it is literally just as simple as a polarity indicator. So if I press this button, you might be able to hear it from here. You'll hear the contactor click from the unit outside. There we go. Three reds is a pass. And we press this again, that clicks off. So all I'll do now, we'll plug it in. Might as well take you with me. We'll plug it in to the customer's cart. Put that in there. That light will turn green. There we go. So now, if we come round to here, you can see just on the inside there, that where we see it, the battery is in fact charging. So, testing all good. Just the final uh, normal ZS's. Do the ZE and do the test on the inside of the board. The normal boring stuff and that is it jobs are good and another one done please don't forget to um, subscribe to the channel if you like what we're doing i've been told i have to tell you guys that or ask you guys to subscribe after every video um so yeah sorry i hope i ain't getting boring but please like please subscribe see you soon hopefully on a drier one <laughs>